the female po prison population is just skyrocketing now. Where years ago it was, you know, 10 to 18,000 people, it's over 200,000. And 80% of the women in prison are mothers. <laughs> And uh, we're working with Van Jones' organization, Cut 50, who want to uh, reduce the pr prison population by 50%. And we've been, uh, we did a Dignity shirt where you could find on omaze.com. It says Dignity, and it's to bring basic human rights to women in prison. So that, um, you know, in some states, in the worst cases, uh, if they're giving birth, they're still shackled. Yeah. I mean, it's insane. Like, and, uh, you know, often they're, they're uh, victims of sexual abuse, but they'll still be strip searched by men or watched in showers by men. And there's no consideration about distance to their children, like when they put them across the country so they just never see their children again. Even if it's, you know, we explore uh, one story in the film of a mother that um, enrolled her son in her father's school district because he was in a better school district. And they found out about it, and they locked up both the mother and uh, that mother's father. And he, they went away, and the father ended up dying in prison before he could get out and, you know, go through trial. So it's just out of control what's going on out there. And it's up to people to stand up, people with hearts, to sort of recognize it and not just sort of buy into this whole thing we've been fed. There was a big push to uh, do to do criminal justice reform, because they've recognized that the punishment model doesn't work. It doesn't work in us raising our children, and it doesn't work in our prison system. So they were making a big push toward it, and then uh, you know the equal rights uh, in the 60s came up and all this stuff, and it just changed. It went back even worse, and, and, it's, and now it's just a, a prison industrial complex. It's, you know, has a lot to do with money. We explore a lot of that on the film as well.